Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed, and I'm going to show you some of the fun things I got from the show. Now, this is not everything, and the show I'm talking about is Creativation 2018. What, what? Some of the stuff I got is still being shipped back because I didn't have room in my suitcase. And the lovely people at Renia let me stuff a few things in their booth because we live in the same city. So they, when they shipped the booth back, my stuff came back. So this is just part one of my fun things I got at Creativation. So one of the first cool things I got was a map, which I actually use quite a bit. They have an app, which is kind of fun, but having a map and just being able to see it was pretty cool too. And also being able to reference it really fast because I did find there was a couple of booths that um, in the app were missing the booth number for some strange reason. So got to bring this little guy home, which is pretty cool. Uh, one of the things I always wear when I go to shows for two reasons. One is my apron because it has my name on it and it got a boo-boo. So I made this apron about a year and a half ago and it's a canvas core apron. I love it. And part of the reason why I love it is because it's got three pockets, which is super handy for me when I can throw in my business cards or little things. I also throw in my phone charger in here, which you're going to see. It is so stinking cute. I won it while I was at the show. It'll come you'll get to see it really, really soon, I promise. And it also has my name on it so then people can see me because sometimes my badge, and I actually had a couple badges, you'll see those in a quick sec, um, gets flipped around. And so therefore it's easy to see. <laughs> of which when I was talking with Tim Holtz, my badge was turned around. He still didn't see I had my name on me. I don't know how he missed it. It was right there in front of him, but this is missing. So I made this out of chipboard a long time ago and I got to fix it again because I don't even have any more of these chipboard letters and I'm just going to redo this little part right here because it's, it's broken. <laughs> okay, let's do the badges first. And then we'll start diving into some of the other fun stuff. I was able to go on two different fronts. The first front that I was able to do is I was there as me. As a designer, um, that's what this designer, and that's what this little purple piece re means right here. And, you know, my brand channel, all that stuff is Scraps for Reflections. And I was also inducted into this amazing, um, I got accepted, not inducted, sorry. I got accepted into a program called a Creator VIP. And here's my cool picture on the site. It was fun. And there's a lot of big name people that were on there and you had to have enough view time. You had to have a whole bunch of stuff in order to qualify for it. And I got in, which is so stinking fun. Um, I'm also part of the designer section, which basically means I had to qualify by working with companies, being paid by companies, things like that. There was a whole being published, all that stuff. And I qualified for that a couple of years ago. That's how I became a designer in the section. So I got a couple of fun ribbons on there. And then I went by, oh, this one came from Jelly Bean Soup. I got this really, they were doing some make and take stuff. And I think I have it with me. Like I said, half the stuff, I haven't even fully opened all the stuff up. Half the stuff I brought home and half the stuff is being shipped. So there'll be a part two video. A fun thing that a lot of people have started doing is they do button collecting or participating and so I created this cool button not the button itself the button itself has come from buttonbuttons.com and then I created this little piece that went on the back of it that was kind of like a little card per se and everybody was having buttons on their lanyards which I think is so cool so this is a button I was passing out and I took 75 and I think I only brought 10 home so I have a few extra maybe they'll get added into some fun little gifts here and there and then some booths had them. This one came from a friend of mine, another fellow designer. Her name is Rita Barakat. She's got some really cool stuff. Um, Fave Crafts, which is a company that I got selected as being the top 25 bloggers of 2017. Look at my little picture. It's so cool. So I got named for that. And that was actually an event that I went to. They have a publishing, Fave Crafts, it's called Prime Publishing. And there's a previous video, which is linked up in the iCard, um, about all the cool things I got from that particular event. This right here is from Carrie Sally. And so she is CarrieSally.com. And this is a button she was passing out. I really do not remember what this one came from. I think it's a kitty cat. Some booths just had buttons sitting out. I think this button came from Finders Keepers, which also gave me this little thing. And they had the cute, there's something else stashed in here that you're going to be able to see. And so they had this little pass out that was like some of their papers and stuff. I did not get a booth tour of them. I missed it. Um, I just got so swamped. I've been putting up videos and you saw some live videos that I had and there's still some more coming, but I couldn't get everything. I mean, there's so many booths. I mean, just look at the map. 
Look at my booster. There's no way I could get to them all. I tried to get as many as I possibly could, but you're still going to end up missing some. So unfortunately, I got what I could out of this. <laughs> The other hat that I wore while I was there was I was there as an exhibitor with Renia. I actually did the entire booth design and helped them set up and did everything and got organized for doing stuff with Renia, which is the foiled paper. And then the other one was Canvas Core Brands, which I help do a lot of behind the scenes stuff for them. And I do their YouTube channel. And I do, I also helped organize like the dinner out and getting everybody organized who was helping in the booth and all that kind of stuff. So I did a lot of stuff and I also helped set up their booth too. So those are the two brand companies that I was there with helping and doing stuff and then also there as myself. So I had lots of hats per se. So I got this cute button from Pink and Main. Um, they're a stamp company and I've worked with them before in the past and they're so, they're amazing. I got another little button from Prime Publishing. Um, I got this one from Stamp Junkies. So that was really cool. I got another one from Gel Press and I think, oh, there's this one popped off as well. And I don't know where I got this one. It's a scrapbooking world championship. It's kind of fun coming back and getting all these really cool buttons. And it's just cool because you have all these cool buttons and people exchange them. It just becomes a thing. And there was more out there. I'm pretty sure that Heidi Swap had one because I saw them actually making them, but I never even stopped in her booth. I walked by it a bajillion times and I was always on a mission to go somewhere. So, oh well. So there is my lanyards that I got. I also picked up these cool yarns. These are paint box yarns and they had a whole bunch of these and they gave them to me at the very end. And aren't they adorable? They're just, they look like little candy. Just, they're so cute. I love them. So I got those cute little guys. All right, this fun thing that was sitting over here. Uh, I actually got selected to go to a, a, a panel and it was run by the AFCI and it was this basically talking about questions, concerns, anything that we may have had. And they gave me a lunch. <laughs> so I brought back the lunch box because I thought it was a really nice lunch box, even though it says Phoenix Convention Center, whatever. I thought it was a really cool lunch box that I could use for my kids, me. I mean, look, it's got all zippers on it. I mean, can't go wrong with having an extra lunch box. Maybe my kid wants to get a new one and, you know, they just want black or I need one to go somewhere. So I can pop this little guy out. I did have the spinach wrap. It was pretty darn good. So now I got a little lunchbox. <laughs> this piece down here, and I think I have another little piece as well, but this is a piece of vinyl. And if you can look, it's glittery. You can kind of catch it on the camera, but it's a little hard. This is in kind of a um, coral color and it's full of glitter and it's a vinyl. So you can do, it's called rosy. Um, you can do all kinds of cool stuff with this. You can die cut it. You can put strips. You can do all kinds of things. You can layer it on stuff. And I believe my little project, let me see if I can hunt it down, is in here. All right, here's the other fun pieces. So this piece right here is another one. Um, Crafter's Choice, this is opal. And look how pretty that is. Look how it catches all those cool lights. Love it. And then this is another piece right here. Um, this is rose gold. So it's a little bit different of a color. As you can see, it's just a slight bit different. But it's all this vinyl that you can die cut, that you can electronic cut, that you can do a kind of stuff. And so I sat down and I actually did a little make and take with them. And uh, that is coming up on a video. And we made a cute little keychain that says 2018 and it's got this. And so there's a video about how to do all this, which is pretty fun. I got a glue stick. Zhang, this is actually, I found this on the floor after the show. It was in the trash pile. But I always have kids that need glue sticks. So I snagged it up real fast and brought it home. It's a transparent glue stick. I don't know anything about this company. It was in the international section. So my guess is that's a company that has something to do with glue sticks. All right, got to talk about the t-shirts. So I did, and this video has already gone live, I know for sure. So one of the things that Plaid offered is if you came and did a video with them, which I would have done anyway because I had this stinking cute glitter paint, of which is coming home in my stuff with the company. So it'll be in the part two. But I brought home the t-shirt because I packed it in my suitcase. And it was if you did a video on all of their paints and stuff, or you just came and took a picture or did something social media, they gave you a t-shirt. So I got a Plaid t-shirt t-shirt. It is pretty cool. I absolutely love it. I'm so going to be wearing this. Yeah. <laughs> so I got a t-shirt. You know, it's funny. We get, we get all this crafty stuff and what do I get excited about? A t-shirt. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> 
Oh, and then another fun thing I found because we were walking around. I kept going to the bathroom, and things people put the weirdest stuff in the trash at the end of the show. I found this really cool purple, and I thought because I have, I'm actually going to be doing a purple project because that new Pantone color is that ultraviolet, and I thought this was so cool. So I snagged it and brought it home because it was going to go in the trash. I had to save it from the trash. <laughs> it was pretty. <laughs> All right, another company, and there's more samples coming, is from a company called Dress My Craft, and I just loved the bag, and this the best bag ever. Um, it's a company that's based out of India, and they had all these really cool little things, and this is called Little Studded Bunny. So this is one of them, and I guess for some reason I had them in my bag earlier, but it's four little pieces, and they look like little bunny charms. They're so adorable. I'm actually going to open this real fast. They were letting us pull things directly off the wall, which I thought was so cool, and so they had a ton of charms, and they really want to get their company well-known here in the States, and so they were asking designers, so that's really loud, they were asking designers to swing by and pick up a few things to take home, and they have these adorable bags. So this is just a small little, they're so adorable. They're little bunnies, but they're pearl heads. Let me hold that up. Isn't that the cutest? <laughs> I love it. And a whole bunch of these little fun things. And so I've got more of them coming. You're going to see more of them and I'll be playing with them in the next little while, but I'm going to put these back so I don't lose them. When we first checked in and we got our badges and stuff, we also got a bag. And that's what this bag is. And it was all about Creativation 2018 and it had some fun stuff in it. And in mine which I think was hilarious, is that the Creator VIPs got a couple extra things in their bag, and this was, I think, I think this was it. And we got a Bob Ross water bottle. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? <laughs> I love it. I got a Bob Ross water bottle. That is so cool. We were all just, we thought that it was the greatest thing in the world, so I got a Bob Ross water bottle. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, so in here, it also had a few other odds and ends of stuff. They have, you know, there's a magazine that you can go into and you can take a look at all the fun different companies. Some of them have ads in here and stuff. So you can kind of take a look at some stuff. Some people like they put this thing for the sidekick, you know, there's all that kind of stuff. There's lots of little flyers of which I kind of went through and purged a few of them because I couldn't fit everything home. But, you know, some of them are taking, you know, don't, don't forget to come back and take a look at certain stuff. Different odds and ends like Dremel. They were also, there was also a few of them that said specifically to come by certain booths and drop off your um, your card and you got a free item. And I pulled all of them and then I forgot to go by the booths because I was so stinking busy. So just lots of cool stuff, different companies. And then there were a couple little freebies that were in here. So I also got some glue dots. They gave us two different sets of glue dots, um, which they actually glue dotted together, which I think is fun. This is the permanent section one. And then we also got a removable really cool. I got a nail file, rough day, beach button show. <laughs> so I got a little nail file. Um, oh, got this little, um, this is a magnet for a new festival called MKNG. Um, it's all about the creative festival and it's happening in September and it's up in New York. I ended up talking with a lot of um, my friends there and this is Shannon Green and she actually did a video of me in the Renia booth and she handed this to me and she has some really cool vinyl planners. I think she gave me another card that's got a, a sampling of it. I think it's stuck in the back so I'll pull that out and talk about that in a minute. Uh, this was also in the bag. It's a Hero Band leather crafting kit. I'll have to make this at some point because this looks really cool. So it's it's all about making this and then talking about a Hero Band, you know, an Honor veter Veteran come by and wear it and I just never had a chance to make it because that would have been really cool to you know support my husband because he's in the military and the last thing which I don't have anymore was a little stick of Gorilla Glue and it saved the day when we were doing booth setup we had a board that fell off and it was this little piece of Gorilla Glue and we didn't want to it was in the bag and it was like a basically a super glue from Gorilla Glue and is this board that fell off this panel but we didn't want to drill holes in it because it was perfectly put on there so we put the Gorilla Glue on to stick the board back on it saved our day that was during the uh, in the canvas core booth and it was fantastic we didn't have to worry about messing up the design of this one display because it was painted with the new color wash paint and we didn't want to mess up the look of it so Gorilla Glue to the rescue yeah okay so one of the other things I went to before the show actually started and that's what the, I have barely delved into this 
the designer section has a group that you can get to go that you can go to um that's a meeting that we go to basically we, we host our annual meeting and i went and i participated in the meeting and we talked about stuff and then we get, got given that little bag and you know it's all about we have a council the whole thing it's basically to support designers in the industry and talking about how we can work with each other and we got to get a goodie bag so i got two really cool dies i think these are gorgeous I mean, just look at them aren't they gorgeous so stinking pretty i love them and this is from sherry lynn designs very cool this is a heart i'm gonna have to do something with that on a card or something and then this beautiful vintage tile they're so amazing so i'm gonna be playing with those i also got some power tack glue from beacon stuff is rocking and i'm i'm almost out um we got a sticker and it's not about surviving it's about flourishing designer section member i love that sticker i'm gonna have to put that on something the lady who is in charge, she's like our president, but they're not really president. She's like the chair head or something. Her name is Deborah. She lives in Canada and she brought everybody Smarties and I've been saving mine. So I'm going to eat them <laughs> very shortly. <laughs> I actually brought a whole bunch more cards home. It talks about me being, you know, a designer and all that kind of stuff for the, so if you do fall into the designer category, let me know and I can hook you up about getting the information about becoming a member of the designer section of AFCI. And then Etchall was there and I got another squeegee, which is fantastic because I like having a dirty squeegee and a clean squeegee when I'm doing my Etchall. So she gave us some information about what we could do to try and uh, working with them. And I got a new squeegee. Yay! So the other fun thing while we were at that meeting is everybody got a little number and I was number 44. And at the very end, we got to walk over and we won a prize. And so this is my prize. I even kept it in the original envelope. <laughs> so I got a set of stamps from a rubber, uh, who is this from? Uh, Impression Obsession. So here is another one from Impression Obsession. Look how cute they are. So, oh, what does the fox say? What do you say? Hey there, foxy wild thing. And then let's do lunch. You know, all different fun stuff on that. Um, I got another squeegee. I got two squeegees. I got, oh, a mixed media color blocks ink with the reinker. So that's pretty cool. I have to play with that. And this one is in like this purpley color. Can't beat that color of the year. And then I got another set of Le Pens. This is from Marvin Yakuda. And that's pretty cool because they're fine, extra fine, fine and bold pens. And I can always use black pens. And these ones are permanent, and they can go on to journaling, altered art, mixed media, outlining. And look, they're even showing you how you can write on like DVDs and CDs and personalize them. That stuff is pretty darn awesome. So it looks like it can go on pretty much everything. So I got some new black pens. So thank you so much, these amazing companies, for sponsoring the designers and giving us a few little things to take home to use, like pens and ink and stamps. Awesome stuff. Love it. Oh, and glue. Always use glue. And dyes. Can't forget the amazing dyes. All right, so a video that already went live is actually from me walking around and talking with 49th Market and Dusty Attic. And they had little pieces I was able to take home. They had little six by sixes of the same papers that were up on the wall. I also got the amazing Dusty Attic chipboard. Look, I got to bring some. This is one of the white ones that's already like pre-primed. And it's got, look, it's, it's really cool because it's not individual pieces. It was on a six by six. And then look how many pieces. I get this piece right here. I get this circle piece, this really cool, um, oh, it's like barbed wire, and then all these fern pieces, and it's all on one little six by six, so I think that just is awesome. So they, they actually sell these like this, and they gave me a sample, and then I got this really cool paper that you can fussy cut out, or you got this pretty on the background. This is one of the new lines I have. It's called Captured Adventures, and on the back side is actually a sampling of the six by six paper. That was really pretty. Um, here's another one. I think this is from the Captured Adventures line. But I mean, look how cool. Look at that fun. And so I think this one, yeah, see, look, it's right there. Is there. And then I have the back side. This is another one. And these ones are really cool. So they've decided instead of having to fussy cut, kind of like you can see on, oh, where to go? On this page, you'd have to fussy cut that stuff. Well, they've done the hard work for you and laser cut out paper. Look at that. Isn't that neat? And so you can actually pop these out. I don't want to pop them out because I don't want to lose them, but they gave me one to take home. Isn't that cool? That's uh, so awesome. And then, oh, there's a couple more. 
All right. I already showed you that. Oh, and Dusty Attic, they also gave me this. And I mentioned in the video that you can get a 20% off. Just use CVA 2018 off of dusty So head over there. Um, they also popped off a few. This is what I thought was so cool. It's these plastic embellishments that are foam dotted. They're like stickers. And you can add them to your layouts. Aren't they really cool? And they had really big ones. And they had small ones. And that's they gave me a couple samplings of that. And then, again, some more of the papers. Aren't they pretty? So thanks so much. That is so awesome. I love it. I love it. So head on over. Check out the video to see the bigger pages, pages of Dusty Attic and 49 in the Market. Stuff was rocking. All right, this is a funny story. So as I was walking around and doing one of my live videos before the show started, I was walking and I found one of the companies. They had boxes and boxes. I mean, they had so many. She goes, and they're a glue company. It's called DAP. And she said, please take some. I was like, okay. I looked at it and, you know, I started looking at everything. She goes, no, 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 really take some because, and I said, I'll come back when the show starts. We got sent, we were only supposed to get one pallet of glue. We got sent two pallets. <laughs> <laughs> they have double the amount of glue they were supposed to have. They had so much glue and they were planning on passing it out anyway. She goes, seriously, take some. So she said, and she handed me a whole bunch when I came back around the other day. And then I came home and this stuff is meant for fast curing wood adhesive. And so this one's ready to stain and plain. This says, and it's 30 minutes. My husband says it does takes a whole lot less than 30 minutes. It, we're in a dry area. So maybe that's why it does a whole lot less. And I showed it to him and he goes, oh, fantastic. I love this stuff. I buy it all the time. I'm like, it's yours. <laughs> it's all yours, honey. And this is a fast curing for all purpose. And she gave it to me in two different types of containers, which I thought was fun. So this is a brush applicator and this is just like a regular glue for interior, exterior, for all kinds of stuff. So my husband was super excited when I brought this home because he's like, it's stuff that's expensive stuff. And you got two, he was like, why didn't you get more? <laughs> I didn't want to seem like the stingy person taking a whole bunch of glue, <laughs> even though she said, take it, take it, take it. <laughs> all right. So this was really sweet. Um, I work with scrapbook.com and one of the affiliates and we have a group and the lady who runs the affiliate group for all of us, she wanted to make sure her name is Laura, that we all came by and talked with her and she chatted with us. And every time she had like a meeting organized, I'm going to open this up so it just doesn't get loud anymore. She had organized some meetings, um, for us to have coffee and do whatever. And Every time she had set aside a time for us to come by and meet with her, I was busy at another meeting or I had a time slot that I was in a class, something. And I said, I'm so sorry. I'm super busy. She goes, well, let me know what time and where to go. And I gave her, a, you know, I was in the Rinia booth at the time. And I said, well, come by. She did. And she gave me this cute little, so I got a scrapbook.com little notepad. I got another black pen. I swear, I so run out of black pens. So I'm so super happy to get more black pens and nice, good ones, not just regular pens, but like good, quick, dry, slick surface, black writer pens. And then I'm guessing this is like large confetti, but look, look, it's penguins, not penguins, sorry, flamingos. I can't even think. It was all kinds of, ooh, excuse me, cute pink stuff that she's, it's like confetti and then her card. So I thought that was super sweet. And there were a couple of ladies that she brought over that also work at scrapbook.com. And we sat down and we played and we, we, we crafted while we were chatting. So it was very nice of her because she had a super busy schedule and I was one of the spots on her schedule to come by and say hi, which I was very humbled. So thank you so much, Laura, for stopping by. I really appreciate that. So I got that stuff from scrapbook.com. My cool confetti circles. I'm going to do something with those. They're cute. So one of the designers that works with me, and I work with her on quite a few companies, actually. Um, she works with us with Rinia, and uh, her name is Steph Ackerman. And if you've not checked out her stuff, you need to. She's got some really cool stuff. She made little goodie bags for all the members of Rinia. I thought that was so sweet. And in there... The mints are gone. <laughs> um, she put a chocolate bar and she put some little dark chocolate cookies and she made it with the Rania foil on the front and I think she even stamped the bag because this looks or it came that way. I'm not sure. But I thought that was so sweet. I never actually got around to eating a couple of the whole there's a legitimate reason why she's like, you're going to want this. And unfortunately, I just I had not unfortunately, fortunately, I had brought bars. When you're on the show floor, unless you have a lunch meeting, you forget to eat lunch or the next thing you know, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. The last thing you ate was breakfast at seven o'clock or six o'clock in the morning. 
So she knew that we would all be getting super hungry. And I was prepared for that this year. And I brought a ton of like energy bars with me and had them stashed in all my bags. So I kept on munching on those versus going to chocolate. Um, but last year I was stupid and didn't think to do that. And this would have saved my butt. <laughs> but I was super happy to get both of these things. And I'm going to enjoy them now in the luxury of my house all by myself with nobody looking at me like they want it and not with my children around. So thank you, Steph. I really do appreciate it. I did suck on the mints though. So those were kind of handy. It was nice having fresh breath. So I appreciate the mints. All right. As we were walking out and I have worked with paper house before I noticed a giant pile and this is like after tear down, everything was gone. And these are some stickers that they'd actually had put onto one of the walls and they just ripped them down and threw them in the trash pile. I'm like, these are perfectly good stickers. This one is actually not even in a case. And I had something got stuck to it. I mean, it was, I think it was just stuck to the wall like this, but these ones are bright and they're still in the package. There's nothing wrong with them. So it was purely a scavenger and scavenged them out of the trash. Not bad. <laughs> but I figured it's better than a landfill. And look, these are all ones about like Washington, DC. Look at the kitty cats and the doggies. Aren't they adorable? Here's one about New York. Actually, a couple of these I already have, like the France one and this beach one. But the, the cool thing about these stickers is they also have like alphabets in the back. Look at that. So I scavenged. I, I was a bad girl. But in my head, this is my logic, I'd rather have it in my crafty room where my daughter can use it or I can pass them along as like fun giveaways than it going in some sort of landfill because that's exactly where it would go. And I got some stickers. This is another one of my landfill survival scenarios. Again, as right as we were walking out, this is a company that's got these. And so it's these foily stickers and they're just really pretty. And again, it was in like a trash pile and I brought it home because I don't want to go in the landfill. <laughs> oh, 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 I found it. Okay. So this is from the same company, which I never actually got a booth tour, but it's over here. Here it is. So this is from Finders Keepers, and I thought this was the cutest thing. I saw this right before the show started, and they have papers and stuff, which I think is so cool. They were passing these out, and so if you can tell, it's a little medicine bottle. And it says, you know, FK, so Finders Keepers Pharmaceuticals, Dr. Rach and Dr. Sarah, Soliatus Bellaria, so chocolate candy, and this prescription is for the treatment of creativation overload syndrome. Take as needed. Refills unlimited at booth, and you got to come by the booth to come get it. That was so... It was so stinking funny. Um, should be eaten all day. May cause excessive energy in crafting. Be sure to take before operating crafting machinery. And then come by and say hello. And then inside was three little Hershey's Kisses. <laughs> I thought that was genius. It was so cute. It was funny. I mean, they thought about what was on the label. I mean, there was just, there was an entire thought process behind this. And I appreciate it because it was hilarious. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Smart, smart, smart idea. And in something that you look at all the time and it's chocolates. We all can use some chocolate, right? <laughs> all right. Lots of little pieces here now. Okay. So I walked by Spellbinders and I got my picture with Jane Davenport here. <laughs> I tried to get a lot of pictures of friends and you're going to see a whole bunch of them at the end of this video of me walking around and saying hi to some amazing crafty friends that I just don't get to see very often. So like the once a year. And so while I was at Jane Davenport, I grabbed my little Spellbinders keychain. It looks like their little, their die cut machine. Love it. So cute. I also from Pink and Main, because you saw me, uh, they had the the button on here that was where I go. Oh yeah. The unicorn button, oh, which reminds me, I got to show you the last thing. The finale is coming of the best thing ever. You're going to love this. Um, you got to wait. It's my last, last thing to show you. Anyway, it's a thing I won. It's so cool. So I got this cute little stamp from Pink and Main, and it's a little bear in a mug. Hug in a mug. Don't you love it? So some of the companies, they only made special stamps specifically to come by. Um, from like they only released them at the show. So that's what this one was. This is another one from Clear Stamp. I think this is one that again also was specifically for the show and they put their stuff inside. So really cute little stamp there. Uh, this was another one from, it's a plant me and my kids are gonna so wanna take, do this. This was from Style Tech Craft. So this is the adhesive vinyl that's also got the glitteriness and the shiny. And this is one that you put this outside, it's got seeds in it. So you can get some really cool flowers. And so they gave me one to give my kids to plant. This one was super cute. Let me see if I can find them all, there they are. Okay, so we have a shark. A little baby so we have like a great white we have a hammerhead and then this cute little kitty cat 
Aren't they adorable? And they're little figurines, little plastic figurines. And it's from this company called Safari, Safari Limited. And look how tiny they are. They also have bigger ones. And I saw them. I thought they were the most adorable things ever. She goes, take one for each of your kids. And so I grabbed My boys are going to have to fight for the sharks. And I got the little kitty cat for my daughter. Aren't they adorable? I think just think they're awesome. So Safari Unlimited gave me cute little things for my kids. Because I can't forget about my kids while I'm at the shows. <laughs> I'm going to put these over here. I was also at the Tape Technology, and they handed out some little wristbands. So I got a couple of things from the vinyl company. I <laughs> Another fun one. So take a look. This is the most adorable little t-shirt ever. It's actually from a company that does heat transfer onto t-shirts and all different kinds of... So they'll heat transfer images onto just about any kind of material you want. And their example was they had these little t-shirts. And I just thought this was the cutest thing in the world. So she said, take it, take it, take it. It was actually a man who's sitting there. I said, thank you so much because... That is about the most adorable thing, and my daughter's going to love this tiny little t-shirt to put on her dolls, and she will forever remember heat transfer. <laughs> so I got a tiny t-shirt for my daughter for her dolls. Uh, another company was passing out, Jilla Bean Soup was passing out Tic Tacs, little mints, which I thought was adorable, and my kids have been eyeing this, and I told them, not until I do the video can you get one, or can you can they have some, and so they were They've been patiently waiting for me to do this video so they could have a mint. <laughs> Jelly Bean Soup is also passing out some other flowers. So I snagged an extra flower to actually give to my friend, and I completely forgot to do that. I'm so sorry, Bets. This was for you, and I forgot to give it to you. But I ended up bringing it home. Anyway, so there you have all these really cool felt flowers. I had one on my lanyard here. This is where I put it on my badge. This really pretty green one right here. Loved it. So I'll grab another one. And then while I was a Jelly Bean Soup... I made a card. My purpose was to make more make and takes this year and it just didn't happen. I ran out of time. Truly, there were so many opportunities to sit down and play and craft and I just didn't get to, which sucks. But there it is. Okay, so we were doing little shaker cards. They had all these little pieces. They were already kind of pre-stamped out. You just laid them on, sending loads of love. And I decided, and this is laundry, that I was going to, and I think I'm gonna put this in my card swap. So one of you lucky ladies is gonna get this in your card swap, is I got, they're bras in the washing machine. I, I just thought that they're little, and it's got a little bit of static in there. They're bras that are in the little laundry, loads of love, and they've been die cut out. <laughs> I thought that was freaking hilarious. And then I put the little things. It was like, here's all the stuff, and then you just make what you wanted. And this is fun. This is so much fun. <laughs> All right. There was another booth that was set up and it was all about kids crafts. And I just happened to walk by and there looks, I, I had to sit down and do it. It's taking these um, wooden rounds and then you took paint and all these fun geometric patterns and you stamped on it and it was a magnet. Isn't that cute? I love that concept. Such a cute idea for kids crafts. So sink and smart. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I got another glue from Beacon. This is a quick, quick grip glue. Can never use enough glue. I love it. It's amazing stuff. And then going back to Shannon Green, I only have a couple more things left, and then we're done for this round. Except for the big amazing thing at the end. You're going to love it. Um, my friend Shannon Green, she is redoing these things, taking these vinyl uh, billboards and plastering them up and turning them into little journal keepers. And so she gave me a sample of some of the vinyl, which is pretty darn cool. So maybe I'll get a journal. I'll have to see. And I also got some chalk pens. So these are wet erasable pens and they're in three different fun colors that are actually meant to go onto different types of chalk boards or dry erase boards or windows or glass or mirrors or ceramic or metal. I'm reading the little thing that says right there. So or plastic that's supposed to be like a chalk plastic or I guess if you painted something with chalk paint, this could work on there too. Now for the best thing ever. You got to see this. So funny. All right. Best story ever. Sizzix, one of the big companies, and there's a video coming up with Sizzix very, very soon. I walk up and all these people are milling around. I'm talking like about 50, 60 people huddled in front of the Sizzix booth, which is a pretty big, massive booth. And I ask one of the people that's standing there, I'm like, what's going on? She goes, oh, they're about to do a drawing. Just go put your card in this big tourney thing. So I drop my business card in there and I'm going, yeah, it was 60 people here and you had to be present to win. There's no way I'm winning. I won. I was the third. They did like 10 drawings right there on the spot. So it was like, come at this time. We're drawing cards to see who wins. And they had a ton of prizes. I won. And look what I won. <laughs> it is a phone charger. It actually came with a cable so you can plug and charge your phone as you're walking around. And it's a unicorn. <laughs> it's got physics written on it. And it is the most stinkingly cute thing ever. I love it. I love it. I love it. And every I was showing this to everybody at the show floor. I won this on the first day and I used it. And it was an awesome, it's, it's an awesome charger. So thank you so much, Sizzix. This is a fantastic charger. And it's a unicorn. <laughs> 
love it. So I had an awesome show. Again, this is just the first bit of information of stuff that I've gotten from the show. Amazing things. I got a couple of make and takes. I got a unicorn charger. Who can say that? Some fun presents from my friends, you know, things with my kids from walking around, companies handing me stuff, from being a designer. It is amazing. So thanks so much for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe and give some love to some of these amazing companies because they went out of their way to give out a few fun things. So please subscribe and I'll see you guys again later. Bye-bye.